going to do a book review today for you on Stephen King's Holly. It is Stephen King's latest book. Uh, it came out in September of 2023. I've read it for my second time on Audible. Listen to it on my, for my second time on Audible. Uh, it's a great book, uh, you know, as almost every single Stephen King book is. In fact, I, I, I can't, I, I think every Stephen King book is a great book. Some of them are, you know, better than others. But uh, so there is a universe, there's a Stephen King universe. There's a whole Stephen King universe. And a lot of things are linked together. Of course, you can, you know, the, the stand is linked to the Dark Tower, all that. But this Holly Gibney book, this Holly book called Holly, about a character called Holly Gibney is it, it actually stands alone from all of that. And if you pull it out, like if you just read just the book Holly and you don't read any of the books that are linked to it, uh, it's a it's a new Stephen King book. If if you're not a if you're not a familiar Stephen King fan, and if you're looking for just a mystery, for a, a book that's like really got some mystery, kind of like a, a good old fashioned just mystery story, uh, then Holly get Holly is a is a good book for that because. It has a lot of hall it has a lot of mystery and it's not like a lot of other Stephen King books it's not like the stand it's not like it it's definitely not um it's it's tamer a little bit I mean, it definitely has some gruesome parts in it but it, it it doesn't seem supernatural if you just read Holly uh you won't feel the supernatural come alive as much as it does in some of the other Stephen King's book uh you know, I will, this, this particular review has no spoilers, so we'll do some spoilers later. But what we're just going to say about this one is there's a character who suffers from a lot of anxiety. Holly has immense anxiety, which I can really relate to. Uh, you know, she talks about checking her pulse when she's about to talk to certain people, feeling that anxiety coming on. And she's also... I'm going to diagnose Holly, and I don't remember if it's ever said in some of the books, but I'm going to, you know, do my layman's diagnosis and say she's probably autistic or something like that. Holly has, deals with smoking, quitting smoking, so there's definitely a through line of that in there. Uh, and then there's, there's a lot of political stuff in Holly. Uh, there's a lot of talk about COVID. There's a lot of talk about Trump, Trump supporters, and those types of things. And then if anybody, if you know Stephen King, uh, you know he's probably not a Trump supporter, and he definitely is. Uh, you know, definitely gets vaccinated, and and you know follows all of that route with COVID. You know, uh, in, in this in that character in Holly, you can see that somebody you know who's always wearing her mask. So they talk about COVID and that, and they talk about. So, you know, for me, I, I'm I'm a person who kind of likes to ignore politics sometimes. And so that a little bit of the story, you know, I, I, I was able to just glaze over it anyways and kind of focus on the characters and, the, and the, the powerful writing that Stephen King has. And to watch this character go through these intense situations that Stephen King puts her in when she's having to solve these cases is, is pretty intriguing. <clears throat> and, and that was something that I really found fascinating about the story Holly. You have a character who's dealing with all of these things and then going into this universe and writing her own. So we have a private investigator. Holly's a private investigator. And so if you like private investigator stories and you really like focusing on a character who's quirky, there's been a lot of that in the media lately. So to see Stephen King make his own quirky private investigator story, it's very entertaining. And that's what Holly was all about. It was just, you know, Stephen King having that type of a character. Now, if you want to get more gruesome, if you want to start breaking some, if you want to start getting some spoilers, in the book Holly, there's some, there's some old people who, who are, there's some old people who are kidnapping people and putting them in cages. And that's freaky. That's freaky enough when you have these old professors who are in their 80s who are kidnapping people and putting them in, ca in a cage. That's, that's pretty scary. But then, and I'm going to stop here if you haven't read the book. I mean, pause this and, do, and go read the book because I don't want to ruin anything more for you. But if you take it a step further, these old people are eating people to because the old people think it's going to make them younger if they eat people and they take their fat and they rub it on their sore wounds and stuff. And when you have somebody like Holly who gets kidnapped and put in the cage... I thought for a moment the story was going to go like a Gerald's game. 
You know, I remember reading Gerald's Game and you had that lady who's handcuffed to the bed. And Stephen King takes a beautiful, and again, I might store, spoil some Gerald's Game here if you haven't read the book. So I'm going to pause for a moment and let you go read that book. But you have the lady in Gerald Game, Gerald's Game who's handcuffed to that bed. And the entire novel of Gerald's Game pretty much never leaves the, that bedroom. So I thought for a while when Holly was in the cage that we were going to have a moment where Stephen King really just took it out into that universe and explored Holly's whole life from that cage, never leaving the cage, just like the character in Gerald's Game. And, but, and we did a little bit of that, but not, not as much as I thought we were going to. Um, but it was, it was still just being right there in that cage with Holly, with a woman who has extreme, the anxiety and to keep on seeing Holly shine, to see her come out, the character that she, she is to, to become when she finally is absurd enough to stand up for herself and tell the word world to fuck off and, you know, come out and be able to establish and be who she is. That's a really, um, it's a really rewarding part of this book. It's a really rewarding part of the entire Holly series. When you're looking for that is when Holly is able to stand up for herself and express herself in that way. And, and you just like, you're like, go, you know, and you're, just, you're really getting behind her and you can really stand behind this character and cheer her on. And that is one of the really intensely cool things about Holly. And then the entire Bill Hodges, Bill Hodges uh, collection of books, you can say Bill Hodges tri trilogy, but really there's, I think there's about six half a dozen books or so here 